Hey guys, so this is paneling. We are asking why are we painting over paneling? Well, the painting, painting over paneling can definitely certainly be done. It can save a ton of money. Imagine trying to rip all this paneling out or laminating it, putting sheetrock over top of it. You're gonna have to take all the trim off, at least, put new sheetrock up, spackle and tape it, put the, the trim back on. So you need somebody who knows carpentry skills. You're gonna have to spackle and tape it. You're gonna have to prime it and probably put two coats of finish on. In this instance, all we had to do is make sure the wall was clean, um, which the homeowner did for us. We had to use a, a adhesion primer that also sealed the surface, which we've done already, you can see. And then we can paint on top of it. So he saved a ton of money for a property that he wants to sell in a couple years um, in lieu of ripping it all out and putting sheetrock back, sheet back on or laminating on top with sheetrock. It's Ryan, we're over here at the, the residential project. This is actually for a friend of mine, an old friend of mine. Uh, this was the paneling that I showed you yesterday in a video. Uh, the, the issues that we always have with paneling is paneling is slick. So there's, there's nothing to, to penetrate, there's nothing to absorb. So we wanna have a good, uh, good adhesion primer. That's my first worry. Second worry is they, they smoked in the house so you can smell some nicotine. Now he might even still smoke in the house. So we want to worry about uh, any yellowing coming through. So you can go about it a couple different ways. We can, we can clean the walls first if it's too bad with nicotine. And I've been on projects where you can actually see the nicotine dripping from ceiling tiles. Um, that was not the case here. So we went with Sherwin Williams um, Extreme Bond Primer. It's the first time we're using that product here similar to some other companies' primers. So we wanted to seal the surface, which wasn't the, the biggest issue. We want adhesion. So this was done, you can see yesterday, uh, my key. So you can see it's worked very well. I'm actually uh, impressed with this adhesion primer from Sherwin-Williams. So I give you a good review there. It also covered very well. This is only one coat on top of his paneling and we're looking for coverage, a uniform coverage, nothing uh, shining through too bad. It actually even covered the, the grout lines, which is another issue. Um, typically, we'll get some yellowing coming through the grout lines. Um, we don't see that right now. And I have good adhesion, good coverage. It spread out very good. We've only used two gallons of primer throughout the whole house right now, which is, is great. Uh, from here, we're going to be going on to using the top coat. The homeowner wants to try to do one top coat on here to save some money, some budgetary reasons. Um, and the plan is to sell this house eventually, so we're not trying to put too much into it. We are going to get a two-toned color on the trim and go from there. So again, painting paneling, you can go a couple different ways. We can clean it, we can prime it. In the past, I probably would have went to an oil-based primer, but nowadays, if nobody wants to smell all that oil, we don't want our painters smelling it, so we went to a water-based adhesion primer. Um, you could run through and quickly scuff the surface just to give it a little more bite if your primer wasn't that good, but again, I'm pretty impressed with this, this adhesion primer from Sherwin-Williams. Um, any questions, just reach out to us. Again, this is how to paint paneling. We on going through in the other room he's going through and all his cuts i prefer to roll everything first it it drastically reduces the amount of brush work you have to do um, and as long as you're not using something with a high sheen satin semi-gloss there's no issue that you cannot brush first and then cut it or actually roll first and then cut in last so this, this is the Sherwin Williams Extreme Bond Primer. You can see it's exceptional adhesion, which we just went over. I rubbed my key all over this. It does not come off uh, for hard to stick surfaces. So paneling is one for mica, I mean glass. And yes, we painted glass before. Uh, cabinets would be a great product or a great product to use. It's interior, exterior. It's urethane modified acrylic. So it's gonna be urethane equals hard going to be a hard finish so that's a great thing for cabinets kitchen cabinets um, again for here if anybody's walking by the wall they hit it with their legs or their belt buckle or something hard 
um, it's not going to come off. And that's what we want. This has been, this is a great test right here. I'm glad we could do it here on something so slick that we can't get it off. Uh, I'm actually impressed with this. This would not have been my number one go-to product. I probably would have used an oil base um, primer. That's what I typically like to go with, but we don't want to kill the homeowner with the smell and we don't want to hurt our painters with the smell either. So um, this is a good one right here. I have nothing bad to say about it right now. Looks better. It looks better than an oil based primer that I would have used. Um, so that's, that's my recommendation right there.